what is going on guys it is sports city here with another video and today sorry for the hiatus but i'm back nfl is back texans chiefs tonight thursday night football this is going to be an amazing year of football and let's just begin i'm going to do back-to-back -back videos first i'm gonna do my overall record predictions playoff predictions and my super bowl pick super bowl 55 for the 2020 nfl season then i'm gonna do week one nfl picks so on and so forth so let's begin the AFC East. Since you can see it already, you can basically see. I want to go through every team. At number four in that division, I have the New York Jets. At number three, I have the New England Patriots. At number two, I have the Miami Dolphins. And at number one, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo eleven and five. Miami seven and nine. New England six and ten. New York four and twelve. In the AFC North, I have Baltimore Ravens at thirteen and three. That's number one in the North. At number two, yes, Cleveland Browns at 10 and 6. I got Pittsburgh at 9 and 7 with Big Ben hopefully back and healthy. And I got the Cincinnati Bengals 4 and 12. Should be a rough year for Joe Burrow and company. In the AFC West, I have the Kansas City Chiefs at number one at 12 and 4. Denver, I did have them higher, but I pushed them down a few losses just because of their offensive line injuries and opt-outs plus the loss of Von Miller. They're at 8 and 8. At number three, Las Vegas Raiders. At 7-9, got to get used to that. And at number 4, the LA Chargers at 5-11. and 11. Um, I just do not like their quarterbacks right now. Tyra Taylor looks like he's going to start the whole year. And I would rather them maybe play Justin Herbert just a little bit. AFC South at number 4, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. At number 3, I have the Tennessee Titans. At number 2, I have the Houston Texans, and at number one, I have Indianapolis. Indianapolis wins the division at 10-6. and six. Houston, number two, going back from the uh, division winner to second place at 9-7, and seven just because the arrival of Philip Rivers and the Colts draft picks of Jonathan Taylor and Michael Bowman Jr., which I do love. In an eight, I have the Tennessee Titans. Yes, I have them regressing a little bit, and you'll see if they make the playoffs, but I just really am not sold on Ryan Tannehill. And at number four, the Jacksonville Jaguars, in my opinion, you probably noticed, the worst team in football at 1-15. and In the NFC East, I have the Dallas Cowboys winning the division at 10-6. and six. Number two, I have the Philadelphia Eagles at 10-6. and six. Number three, I have the New York Giants at 6-10, and 10, an improvement from last year. And the Washington football team, 3-13. and 13. Again, I do not like their team. They have no offensive weapons other than Terry McLaurin. And their defense could be a top 10 defense this year with Chase Young. But I just don't believe in Dwayne Haskins. NFC North, maybe controversial. Detroit at number one at 11-5. and five. I love their draft picks. Jeff Okura, DeAndre Swift, etc. Jonah Jackson starting. I love their all-eyed receivers. Their running backs, Matthew Stafford, in my opinion, is a top 5-6 to six quarterback in this league. They have a top 10 secondary, in my opinion, with... Desmond True Front, Justin Coleman, both just top twenty cornerbacks, and they have Mane Warrior or Jeffrey Okuda who's gonna start. So that's why I have them number one. And number two, yes, I have the Green Bay Packers at nine and seven regressing. In my opinion, they are the one of the worst rated overall thirteen and three teams in NFL history. And number three of the Minnesota Vikings, another team that will regress in 2020. We lost many key standout defensive players. Daniel Hunter is gone. Uh, Daniel Hunter has gone on IR, and I think Kirk Cousins may have a down year without Stefan Diggs, who did have a thousand yards for him last year. Seven and nine. Number four, Chicago also takes a deep. So three teams in the NFC North go down, and the Lions move up. Chicago goes to five and eleven. I do not like Mick. Chulter Biscuit. I do not like Nick Foles. I do not like their offensive weapons in a whole. Um, their secondary is all right, and their defensive line is top five. But I just do not like the team overall on the offensive standpoint, and that's the reason why. NFC South of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning the division. Yes, another division winner, another increase, 12-4 and four for Tom Brady. New England Saints, I have them going down a little bit. I picked them back-to-back -back years winning the Super Bowl, and they just haven't shown up. So I think... I don't, I don't want to ban them. They could still win this division just because same quarterback, same coach, same players, basically. I'm going 11-5, and five, which isn't bad. I could have a regression year for Drew Brees. Number three, Atlanta stays the same at 7-9. Just a brutal um, division. 
Carolina at number four, four and twelve. NFC West, Seattle at 13-3, San Fran at 12-4, Arizona 8-8, and, 8, and Los Angeles 6-10.